How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. If I were to ask you one question of where is your router right now, you'd probably end up going to your living room, maybe your kitchen and finding something that looks like this. Or they might look a little different like this one here. But is that actually your router? Or are you finding your modem? Could it be your network switch? Or is it all of these? Let's go over the actual network hardware you have to better understand exactly what's going on and find out exactly what you are pointing to when you say that's your router. So we're gonna start from the very top and this is talking about your internet service provider or ISP for short. This can be someone like Spectrum or AT&T, the person basically that you pay for your internet, they have to get it to your home somehow and this is what comes into play first, your modem. So your modem acts as basically a converter from your ISP to all the devices that you actually have. It takes this analog signal that comes from your ISP and converts it into a digital signal that all your devices can actually use and your devices will send their digital signals back to your modem and the modem will reconvert that back to an analog signal before it sends it back to your ISP. So one important thing about your modem is it contains all the info it needs to talk to your ISP. Now this includes your ISP's name, their login information, their IP address, and more config information. This way they know this is the correct device that they need to be providing internet to and they can properly charge you for whatever you're using. Now this is a little different if you have fiber because in fiber you don't use analog signals, it uses light through fiber optic cables. They don't actually have modems technically, they're called optical network terminals, but they essentially serve the exact same purpose except they're converting light pulses into digital signals and then converting those digital signals back to light pulses to send to the ISP. But for all intents and purposes, they're essentially the same exact thing as a modem. If you're interested in fiber optic cables and networking and you want to know more, leave a comment below. I might make a dedicated video to explain how all that works. But the problem with having this modem or this ONT is that it doesn't actually allow more devices. You can have a single device plugged directly into it and that's the only device that'll have internet. Only one device? And that's where routers and switches come into play. So if you have a box like this that you think is your router, this is actually what we call a gateway. I don't know, the gateway sealed itself for some reason. There's actually a router modem combo and typically they also include a switch on the back. So if you see where all your ethernet ports are, that is your switch. So this takes the single point from the modem and splits it up so that way you can plug in more than one device. But the router is what actually makes it so that all this information from many devices comes together and gets served back to your ISP correctly but it also is what provides you with your Wi-Fi signal. So if you don't have anything hard plugged into, which a lot of houses these days don't, all that is your router's job. So that's what produces this Wi-Fi signal for you to actually communicate to the router and the router pushes that information through to the modem, which actually talks to your ISP. And again, this is all through usually the same exact box, which is called a gateway. One easy way I like to think of it is as a stream of water. If you think of your ISP as a giant pipe of water coming in, that is serving you the bandwidth you're allowed to have for your internet. Now your bandwidth is just the amount of internet in layman's terms that you actually buy and the amount you receive. This can be something like 500 megabits per second, gigabit, whatever you end up signing up for, that's the amount you have for your router to split between all your devices. So if you ever find that you're having long load times or maybe a video is buffering, that can be due to not having enough bandwidth to where your router is having to siphon off the limited bandwidth it had to so many devices where each of them is running a lot slower because they all need to still have an internet connection to where it can't serve them all at super fast speeds. And that is the fundamentals of how all your networking hardware works together. If you had any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and get subscribed for more content like this.